A ho, ho, ho. My name is Leslie Morris, and today we're going to be looking at Santa Visits the Magic Land of Mother Goose. The film starts out with old King Cole escaping from his storybook. He starts talking to the audience. He complains that the only amusement in his life is a rag doll. One pretty freaking looking rag doll. King Cole continues to talk to no one in particular until Merlin the magician answers him. Merlin then goes on to fix his rag doll. Well, kind of. Merlin goes on to do more tricks, and by the look of it, he's made the plot of this film disappear. Merlin does some tricks, and then all these random characters run in. Old King Cole tells them to leave, and return with anything that might amuse him. Yeah, like a better frickin' film. Merlin then goes on to capture the ragdoll in a box. He tries to stab her to death. He fails. It reappears. We're all sad, as this reminds us that this film probably won't have a plot, and we're only one-fifth the way through. I wish I could be stabbed to death. Old King Cole brings in a box. He's got to throw it away, but wants to know if Merlin can use it. Merlin produces a jack out of that box. Old King Cole brings out a fiddler to play. Hey, keep your mind out of the gutter. This is a clean show. I don't do blue material. Okay, so then something magical happens and old King Cole has more fiddlers. They start fiddling, then the Jack in the Box has a dance-off with the rag doll. At this point, I'm feeling very sympathetic towards old King Cole's boredom problem. I've been here 20 minutes and I want to kill myself. Anyway, they set up some kind of magic trick that involves a drum. Ugh. This movie was directed by Herschel Gordon Lewis, who went on to direct The Wizard of Gore. That film was about a magician that killed people on stage. I wish I was watching that film. Anyway, the trick ends and the ragdoll comes out, and sadly, no one dies. Oh, man. Princess Beauty comes out, and I don't know. She's upset because she's after a prince that's only into sleeping chicks. Yes, I know it's a strange fetish, but who are you to judge? Merlin manages to send her asleep, then levitates her just for the heck of it. Anyway, we're now halfway through and still no Santa Claus. Anyway, the prince comes in and they sing a sing song. He wakes her up and I wish I could be asleep now. They dance and thank goodness something finally happens. A witch comes in to mess things up. Being bored by these people, I'm instantly on the witch's side. She freezes everyone. This witch kind of reminds me of the witch from another Herschel Gordon Lewis film called Something Weird. I always had a strange crush on that witch. So Merlin and the witch have a magic off. Merlin kills her and we're 40 minutes in. We still have no conflict or Santa. Awkward jump cut and we're in the next scene. Uh, So it looks like they didn't have enough money for both a witch and a mother goose. So the actress changes her costume. Mother Goose is mad that all her friends are frozen. She frees everyone, then tells them off for leaving the book, as they've left the entire world storyless. Most of them go back into the book. Anyway, there's a problem with Jack Frapp being too fat, and I've stopped caring. 15 minutes to go and still no Santa. Merlin uses his magic to get Jack thin. Shame he couldn't do a sex change because Jack is clearly a lady. 10 minutes to go, but who's counting? Something about Mary and a little lamb and the rag doll. Who cares? Not me. Let's move on. Mother Goose goes to talk to Merlin. What they're saying isn't important. What is, is that you can visibly see the backdrop moving. Merlin does magic and Mary a little lamb or something. I don't know. Eight minutes to go. Merlin does some kind of milk trick and still no one cares and no Santa. Something about little Bo Peep. Five minutes to go. Merlin makes a fake sheep appear. Four minutes. Ragdoll needs to be punished in, I don't know, some kind of disappearing book thing. Three minutes. <laughs> I know Santa isn't coming, but I don't care. I just want the movie to be over. King Cole needs to get back into the book. Two minutes. He wants to say goodbye to Merlin, but Merlin can't be found. Merlin talks to them from above. Merlin gets all preaching, gives them advice they didn't even ask for. Less than a minute. King Cole and Mother Goose go into the book. No Santa. Merry f- Christmas. The end.